first name Cedric, last name take everything out your pockets. I need your pockets out your pockets. Cedric! Whoa, whoa, Cedric. nobody move, back up. Nobody move! Sorry, it's gonna be an emergency. I have no life, which gives me all day to ruin yours. Hello. Good morning, Jennifer Lewis. Good morning, David Talbot. Thank you for joining me to see your live in Dallas, Texas. Pleasure. All right, right. Good. Good to be here. Oh, Dallas, Texas. Yay. I've got a sister-in-law down there. I love Dallas. A, Dallas is a great place to be. You're live on the Val DeBee Show, and I want to thank you for joining me. And, David, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, start with Jennifer. Women are always first in my world. <laughs> and I, then I'll come back to you. Jennifer, you are just an iconic star of the, the screen. I, I, it's really hard to put you into perspective. You're such a big talent. You're such a big force on the screen. And I know you're in baggage claim. Listen, I, I can only tell you, you know, um, they call me the black mother of Hollywood now. And uh, they always ask me, Jennifer, why do you play everybody's mother? And I tell them, for that kind of money, I'll play the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Ergo, David E. Talbert, uh, being a class act, taking me to lunch and asking me to play <laughs> Catherine, uh, Paula Patton's mother, in baggage claim. And I must tell you, there was no hesitation when he um, asked me to play the part. Um, he set a mood and an ambiance on the set where everybody was so willing to give. I mean, we gave 2,000% in this movie. It's a light comedy that everybody can enjoy. He brought together one of the uh, most talented and certainly most beautiful <laughs> a cast in Hollywood uh, to make this film. And it's, uh, it got a huge reception when it was released in the theater. And now it's coming out on DVD and Blu-ray. And all I can say to everybody is, Go and get it because you can snug up with a lover or the family. See, that's what's so great about this movie. You can snug up with the family and watch this movie. So, yeah, we had a great time. Well, David, you did make a great movie. I've seen the clips from it. Love Jennifer, love Paula, love all the cast in it. How did you get this ensemble cast to work as if they were family? Well, you know, it's, it's mutual respect is really where it starts. And, um, you know, when you cast someone, you should cast someone you respect as a, as a performer. And then that kind of spills over. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't show up to, to teach anybody how to act. I, I showed up to press play and record on the camera and capture what they do best. And, uh, and so it was fortunate for me to have this kind of talent. Um, I was thankful that uh, Jennifer responded to the script and Paula and Derek and all the people. I mean, it's really uh, overwhelming as a writer sometimes and, and really humbling to know that what you write resonates with people enough to lend their gifts and talents to what you're, you know, putting on the screen. And so. when you're on set and there are people there that you do respect, and that you know you can work with, and the professionalism is there, then it's, it makes it very comfortable and easy. So uh, everything is, is glued together, and the, the only thing you really hear coming out of uh, off the set is a lot of laughter. So we had a great time making this movie, and it showed in the uh, end result. Mm -hmm. David, you've done... Um you worked with Ice Cube, Tracy Morgan, Cat Williams, and many, many other people. Where is your career taking you now? Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, the, the sky is the limit, and there's even past the sky. You know, I just do what speaks to me um, and uh, what makes me want to wake up in the morning and, and what I'm passionate about. And, you know, 
and I'm, I'm thankful to work with the people I've worked with, but it's just what I love. There's nothing else I, I would want to do or nothing else I could do. So I'm going to continue to write and do plays and film and, and television and, and try to be a great uh, husband to my lady and a great uh, father to my son. Oh, what a great tribute. That's so nice of you to say that for your family. Jennifer, I was watching you last night, <laughs> and Little Richard, you are the quintessential mother. You wait, really wait, wait. are. She said something about you watching me and Little Richard. <laughs> oh, you were watching me and Little Richard last night. Yeah, girl, I just tell you, you know. They asked me, did I say this already about, I mean, you know, I... Look, they call me the black mother of Hollywood. But here, let me be serious. Uh, there's so many young people who come up to me and say, you remind me of my aunt, and you're just like my mother, and I, I, I've got, you know, and, 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 you know, from Fresh Prince to, to, you know, as the aunt, and then playing the mother in more than 50 films, I have a debt to pay. I have to give them the best, and I'm representing the African-American uh, middle-aged uh, woman. <laughs> so, you know I have to give my best. Um, you are doing your, you are doing a wonderful yeah, job. I'm, I'm representing Lewis. my girl. So um, the black mother. I mean, it's, well, you're doing a wonderful job. It's you're like, beautiful. Yeah, I know. You're talented. It's just so important to me, and I just try to give my best every time. Well, in blue, in your Blu-ray uh, version of Baggage Claim, I think it's just fabulous. I want to thank you guys for talking about Baggage Claim. You can get your own copy. Find your own copy, but it's good. I'm going to give away a few copies, and I'll let you know in a little while. Jennifer Lewis and David Talbot, thank you so very much for talking to us about baggage claim here on the Dollar DB Show. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, you. and much love to the folks in uh, Big D. I, I, I have a great time always there when I tour with my plays, and uh, thanks for all the support and the folks out there in Dallas. Well, you guys come back for it gets too hot in the summertime. Of course. <laughs> Junior Black Academy. I'll, Absolutely. I'll be back there. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.